These things happen. At the hotel. Miss Pearl has just arrived at the hotel. Good morning. My name's Shirley Pearl. I believe you have a room for me. Could you spell your name, please? P E A R L S H I R L E Y. P E A R L. Just a minute, Miss Pearl. Yes, that's right. We can offer you a single room from today for 12 days. Is there a shower? There's a private bathroom, a TV set, and a fridge. How much is it? $90 a night. Oh, it's a reasonable price. Could you fill in this form, please? Will you sign here, please? Here's your key. What time's breakfast, by the way? Any time between 7 and 10 downstairs in the restaurant. There are coffee stalls and snack bars on every floor of the hotel. Can I have breakfast in my room? No problem. You can order it by phone. Lunch is from 11 till 1.30, tea at about 5, and dinner at 6 or 7. Where can I buy stamps and envelopes? The newsstand is right in front of you. Ah, that's fine. Thanks. The film producer comes into the hall. Ah, there you are at last. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you. How are you? I'm quite well, thanks. A bit tired after the flight. And how are things with you? Fine as usual. Thank you. Glad to hear it. How do you like it here? Well, it's very interesting. What about the group? All of them are pleasant people, very sociable. What's your room number? Er, uh, 1532. What luck. We are neighbors. My room's on the same floor. I'll take you there. What time is it? It's a quarter to ten. Ah, uh, my watch is three hours slow then. No wonder. London is two hours behind Moscow. The film producer and the actress are at the door of a room. The door is open. They go in. What must I do Listen, there's somebody you? in the room. A man is singing. You're right. He's in the bathroom. They hear a song. What can I do without you? What must I do to start my life anew? Without you, what must I do to start my life anew? Who's there? What are you doing? Don't disturb me, please. I'm taking a bath. What do you want? Who are you? I'm afraid there's a mistake. This room is ours. Yours? Are you sure? This is room 1523. Oh, awfully sorry. It's my fault. I've made a mistake. Do forgive me. These things happen. Some minutes later, in room 1532. Can you come down in about three quarters of an hour? Have pity. Can you give me an hour and a half? I need time for a shower and a cup of coffee. All right, then. In an hour and a half. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Don't be late. The bus leaves at 12 sharp. Oh, I'm never late, am I? See you in the lobby of the hotel. At 10 minutes to 12. The weather's nasty today, isn't it? Yes, rather, isn't it? What's up? You look so upset. Trouble is, I can't stay in my room. What's wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with the room itself. The room is large enough. It faces the yard, so it isn't noisy. Is it comfortable? It's light, clean, comfortable, and even sunny. I like it very much, but I don't like the man who is next door to me. Why? What has he done? He hasn't done anything wrong, I suppose. He's a musician. He plays his violin day and night. How annoying. He's preparing for the Tchaikovsky competition, isn't he? Probably. I couldn't sleep last night. I need a room to work and sleep in, not to listen to music. Are there any vacant rooms in the hotel? I'm afraid not. None at all. What shall I do? Don't worry. I can help you. Do you smoke? No, I don't. So much the better. I have a double room. We can share it. As far as I understand, you need privacy for your work, don't you? I'm out all day long. You can have the room all to yourself. It's so considerate. Thank you very much. That's all right. Don't mention it. At the reception desk. Excuse me, can you spare me a minute? Certainly. What facilities are there in the hotel? There's a hairdresser's, a currency exchange, a post office, a dry cleaner's, a shoe repair shop, and a laundry. All of them are on the ground floor. Thank you. By the way, what are you doing tonight? Pardon? What did you say? I mean, why don't we go out together? I'm sorry, I'm busy. What about tomorrow? I'm busy today. I was busy yesterday. I'll be busy tomorrow. Besides, I don't go out with strangers. But everybody knows me here. Yet I must apologize. I meant quite well. Come on, Tony. We're waiting. You're not wasting time, are you? I can't afford to waste time. 
Ah, oh, look at that. It's raining. You never know where you are with the weather. Where are our umbrellas?